Tom, 4 0 against Reading today. We're through to the fourth round in a cop. Wayne Rooney leveling up with Sir Bobby Charlton. How just did you expect him to get the record today first? Uh, well, I, level up with the I expected him to score today because, you know, cause it's Reading. I, I expected it would have been a bit harder because Yap Stam come defensive because it's obviously Championship versus Premier League. But I didn't want him to score two today because I want him to score against Liverpool because it would be brilliant to beat the record against them. But um, no, the performance was really good. Some one-touch football in the middle with uh, Fellaini, of all people, doing that, uh, Martial. But I like the way Blind and Martial linked up when he was playing balls over the top and Gun Gunter had no chance um, against Martial. Uh, but no, it's positive going into the whole game. But I'd rather win the FA Cup than the Europa League and the uh, League Even though you get Champions League from Europa League? Yeah, because I'm, I'm certain we'll, be, we'll come in the top four. And if we come in the qualifying, we'll breeze that and we'll be in. But the Europa League, I don't think it's anything special. You know, the bin dippers get excited about that. We don't. City get excited about the League Cup. Why should we? You know, the FA Cup's the one that we should go for because the league's more or less over now. You think that's over, yeah? Yeah, Chelsea. They slipped up against Tottenham, but I can't see... They've not got the mentality. I can't see them dropping nine points. Jose, um, before, before you go, I haven't spoken to you much this season, but Jose Mourinho you mentioned the one-touch passing and the football today. Did you expect him to get us playing as appealing football as we have been? Yeah, cause I wasn't worried at the start of Watford City games. You know, he always comes. From, sec, he's the second season manager, and he he gets his philosophy in and he gets it sorted, and then we start. Did you just use the p word, Tom? <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, but he gets his style of play. He gets his style of play working. Um, I would never worry for one bit. You know, look, look what he did, like support or winning the Champions League, Chelsea second season there, Inter Milan, Real Madrid. He does it everywhere he goes, and you expect it, don't you? Especially at a club like this with a manager like him. Twenty one's coming. Of course it is. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. Done with TJ four 0 against Reading today. We're through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Job done professionally. Yeah, it was professionally done. I've, it's just the way how we're playing recently. It's just got Old Trafford feeling upbeat. It's just the consistency is back in within our play. It's just uh, it's just like the old days of when in like the 2007 and 8 season how we used to play. It's just consistency is the key at the moment. We made a few changes today there as well, and you're seeing players like Wayne Rooney, um, Rashford who are putting in performances. Is this show that there's great competition for places here and that Jose has now got a whole team that are all battling for spots? Yeah, of course, because before when Van Gaal was in charge, we didn't have players to back up each other. But now when Mourinho is in charge, he's got players who can play in each position, which is so good. Um, Marouane Fellaini in midfield today. Um, a lot of people against sighing when he's on a team sheet, but he put, he put in a good performance. Yeah, do you know what? He, he put in a good performance today. It's just, it's just the, the, the days when he, he just he just plays slow. But today he was the team played well around him. He did. Um, we've got Hull up next in the cup. You you expect to see more changes? I think I think I can see the same team play, that played today against Hull. Would you do that? Yeah. Yeah, most probably. Yeah. And do you think the cups have extra significance for United this season with? With the way le the league's shaping up, or do, you, do you still hold hopes in the league? By the end of the season, trust me, we'll be first. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> um, As you can see, um, all the teams, Chelsea, they lost the game. It's just, it's not that much different from second to sixth. So I, I, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. Who's your man in the match today? I'm going to say Martial. <sighs> That's a controversial one, you know. I thought Rashford would be walking that one. Get your comments in below. Wayne Rooney leveling up with Sir Bobby Charlton. Is that is it is this going to go down as a historic day then today? Wayne Rooney leveling up. Of course, statistically, I'm on record as you know being a bit against Wayne, but I think in his career. <laughs> That's I, why I asked yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think I think in his career, I think all the people who've criticised him, I think at the end of the day, when you look at him, he'll go down as England's English. Um, he scored more goals for England than anybody else, and more goals for United than anybody else. I think it's a bigger day when he breaks it. Hopefully that's Tuesday night. Um, I think the sad thing... I hope it's Saturday against the Scouts. Yeah, so do I. Almost 11 years to the day that we uh, beat them with that Rio header. So let's hope we, we do that again. Yeah, I think he was really bright today. I think for, I think if he'd scored the first one, the first one would have been a great goal if he'd have scored it, but Al Habsi saved it. And I think that's one of his best performances for a while, I think, Rooney. I think. You think he's found his position in the team in terms of not starting every game, battling for a spot like just another player in the squad. Um, he's coming in today and he's shown that, look, I want to start game. I think that says everything more about um, Mourinho's squad management's been perfect. I think he's kept him hungry and held him back and said, you know, you'll play 10, 15, 20 games a season, but 
you know, we'll guarantee you those starts and he's coming and he's fresh. And he actually looked really quite fit. I made a comment in the ground about, you know, he looks quite trim and, you know, really, really fit. So Mourinho's doing his work. Mourinho's, Mourinho's been great. I think the style of football is, at times is fantastic, even though it will sound ridiculous. I was quite nervous at 2-0, but I think our standard of football and the way we've been playing at the minute is fantastic. It could have been, I know you were nervous at 2-0, I get what you feel, because one goal from them and with five minutes to go, it is a bit nervy. But we got four goals, it could have been 10 today. Yeah, I was, I was a bit annoyed at half-time actually, because um, I thought we were quite wasteful. It could have been four or five at half-time, but... You take, if it was a league game, I'd be much more annoyed. But because it's a knockout cup competition, you take any win you can get. Um, but if it was goal difference in a league, I'd have been much more annoyed. But some of our football is fantastic. Marshall and Rashford on both sides were fantastic. Rashford ran all day. Marshall, Marshall's my man of the match. Um, I thought every time he got the ball, he was fantastic. Proven by the fact that they took Tyler Blackett off at half time. I think that was because Marshall ripped him a new one. So. Poor Tyler. Glad's yeah. 4-0 today. Marcus Rashford with that second half brace. Just how good was he? It was brilliant today. Had lots of chances. Took lots of them. He was very quick. Beating that defence most of the time. And I think he was a, he d it was a perfect performance from him. Because he's not scored in a while. I think he's about... 10 15 games he hasn't scored in so were you worried that under Jose Mourinho he may get the chance he may not get the chances that he got under Louis van Gaal I think that because Mourinho doesn't really use much youth but I think this year he's, he's used a lot of youth players and I think they're benefiting him because in these games during the end of the season players get tired and then the, and then they're the good enough standard to play in the Premier League shows like now Timothy Fosu Mensa did very well and um, Marcus Rashford. What about yourself? What did you make of the changes to the team today and then the performance? At first, when I see, for, uh, seen the team, I thought, why is he just putting, well, old people, why didn't he give the youngins a chance? Um, and on Rashford, I didn't think he was did that well in the first half. That My dad said, yeah, he's doing well, he's grafting. And he was grafting and grafting, he, but he wasn't taking his chances. Not everyone was taking the chances in the first half, but in the second half, we've seen the real Rashford. How good can he be? Could you see Wayne Rooney scoring a goal that levels him up with Sir Bobby Charlton? Can Rashford go on to do those kind of great things? Yes, I think he can, but my worry is, is it going to be at United? Why, why do you worry that it wouldn't be? Because usually when we get a world-class player, then he just gets moved on to Madrid or Barca. Obviously, I'd love him to stay. From Withenshaw, though. So? Not gonna, he's not going to do one, is he? Well, I, I hope not. Adam Irm with Sam outside Old Trafford. 4-0 against Reading. We're through to the fourth round. Sam, what did you make of the performance today? You know what? Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Like, Just thank Jose for like putting... Like bringing the team back, do you know what I mean? Like Man United are back. I'm sure you said it before. I said that after the Middlesbrough game, and then I got worried for the West Ham. Yeah. It, there's a change of mentality right now, isn't it? He's he's making the fans happy. Do you know what I mean? Like people have left left the ground just smiling. Like, and you know it is when we get Griezmann as well. Like Martial. When when we get Griezmann in the summer, Martial, Mickey T, Griezmann's like, and it's not going to be fair. Do you know what I mean? Pogba behind, Bay De Gea. Like our team, we're back. 21's coming. Like. Champions League couple of years, definitely. Like we're back still. Jose Mourinho's got United playing playing the right way as well. Yeah, playing the right football. Like all this about his plays negative football, like he proved that at Real Madrid, do you know what I mean? Like if, as long as he's got the the right players in, it's it's, it's a rap <laughs> kind of thing. Who who was your best best player today? It's a toss up between Carrick and Marsh and Martial's quality, but Rashford as well. Like I thought Rashford, just his work rate, he doesn't stop, do you know what I mean? Ninetieth minute he's still Putting in the work, like the defence, they don't know what to do, kind of thing. So, are you worried by Carrick that not that we seem to have a reliance on him? Definitely, like 35 years old, like it's a worry. Like I don't know how we're going to replace him. Watching the way he plays, like he just reads the game so well. Like it's going to be a tough one, but we're enjoying while he's here. Do you know what I mean? Easy peasy. Brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant performance by the lads. Again, again, we 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 need to keep this. We need to keep keep up this consistency. Just just keep playing like just keep playing the the, the way that we're doing and. 
you know, Adam, this this team is just just des destined for great things. You know, I mean, I mean, you look at it there. I know, I know it's Reading, right? And I'm not gonna get too carried away, but come on, four 0 that, that's that's a great win, man. I mean, you know, you, you can see just the massive contrast from last season. I mean, we we needed a, a late penalty from our captain Waza, so you know, that, that that just says it all there, doesn't it? Um, who's your man of the match there, and why? Um, if I, if I could, I'd give I'd give two I give two man of the matches. Uh, I give it to um, Marshall or Rashford, but today I. Uh, I definitely give it to um, Rashford. You know, I thought he played well, and I know we missed some uh, awful sitters uh, at, at, the, at the first half of the game. But um, you know what? His um, his his determination, his desire to you know keep moving forward, keep keep working hard. You know, I, I just says it all, and uh, you know, and yeah, eventually he got his reward. He got his uh, two goals, and uh, yeah, that's why I give him the match. We're still waiting for Rashford's first hat trick. Will it come this season? In a word. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. In a word. Yes, cheers, man. <laughs> Great performance, some would say. Um, but the opposition, were a championship opposition, was that anything in it? Or did United play that well? No, I would say United are back just yet. If they win Liverpool next week, I think they'll return. I think they'll officially back. If they win next week, I think you might push on for top four, probably finish second. But until then, I will say United are back until next week. Because it's a hard opposition. And uh, if, if you want to prove us that we need to be the best in the league, and they're one of the best. So if we win next week, we're back. What about yourself? How are you feeling on the Jose at the moment? The last time I spoke to you, Adam, um, it was in May after that Leicester game. I don't think you remember, but look at the difference now all around Old Trafford. The atmosphere is different. The fun, the, the way we're playing is a lot different. It's a lot positive under Jose. I know our league position doesn't reflect it and today was only Reading, but you've got to beat who's put in front of you. But generally, in terms of how we're playing, Jose is the type of guy who gets beats opposition and gets the job done. And I think we're playing really well at the moment as it is. But... I think our real test comes after Liverpool. If we beat Liverpool, I think we're it. Who's your man of the match today? Smalling, I thought. I thought he was solid at the back. And there was a couple of runs that he made from uh, from defence into attack. And I think that ball, from he gave that ball to Rashford where he made, he did he took on the keeper and he did get it direct. But I thought Smalling was solid today. It was good to see. That was a great pass as well. I'd give it Martial. He created the first spark, didn't he? After that, we just blew him away. Jake Redding, fam, we're outside Old Trafford. 4-0 your boys last today. How are you feeling after that? Deflated. I, ca I came here with a, a lot of hope. We were, we're, I think we've won a, about eight of our last ten. I know you're flying as well. I think 13 are beaten, 14 are beaten. Eight in a row now we've won. Eight in a row, exactly. But, you know, our last two away games, we come we come back to win 3-2 in, in both of them with 90th minute winners. And uh, I, I, you know, I generally thought there was a bit of me. I know United have class. But there was a bit of me that just thought maybe there's a bit of FA Cup magic at Old Trafford tonight today, but uh, it wasn't to be. It, was to be. it wasn't to be. You came out here and you said to me, you said to me, Tyler Blackett, what's going on with him? Tyler Blackett, <laughs> he, he's so clumsy. He's so clumsy. It's it's unreal. Um, against Bristol City, he gave away a penalty, sent us two 0 down just after half time. A challenge he didn't need to make. The ball was already past him, and he's gone and barged into him. He, he's just—he's so clumsy. He doesn't need to make challenges that he—he he does. He commits too early, and I think he's got a lot of learning to do. What about Yip Yap Stam? Um, you got a great reception here from the United fans today. How's he getting on at Reading? World class. He's—I he, oh, can't—I can't—I can't find enough superlatives to describe him. He's honestly the best manager we've had since Steve Koppel. Steve Koppel was the another United <laughs> ex United player. Yeah, yeah, but Joe, you know he's he's built something. There's been rumours about him going to Swansea, him going here, going there, uh, mainly from Dutch articles and Dutch newspapers. But Joe, you know he's he's staying up. I think he'll get you up this season. It's a difficult fight up there with Newcastle, Brighton, Aston Villa, etc. It's difficult. We're third at the moment. We're about seven points off top. Brighton are first, Newcastle second, and but the, the chasing pack behind us, they're maybe two two points, one point behind. So, Joe, I think it's going to be interesting to see how you know the pressure affects Yapstam and affects the players. But right now, he, he's brought a sense of character and a sense of belief back into the squad and back into the fans. And Joe, it just showed Joe. We took just over five thousand here today. A lot three-hour journey, quite quite a good attendance. So. Uh, He's brought he's brought a sense of belief back to the squad and Joe, I can't I can't thank him enough for what he's already done and I Joe, I hope he gets us prize. Let's hope he is in the Premier League next season and we get to see you back here. Nice one, Jake. Thank you, yeah.